right, thank you so much for tuning back in to another reaction video. My name is Chris. My name is Sam. And we are Offset. Era. Woohoo! We. All right. As you see the title, we're doing a little something different today. Yep. We are checking out another, like, I guess, reality talent show type of deal. <laughs> We've done a couple of these, and this will be number three this this time. Yep. Uh, this was a suggestion from our uh, one of our other videos we did for uh, Diana Akudinova. Um, on that video, you guys, they, for, first and foremost, thank you so much for checking out that video. A lot of you did. A lot of you loved it. Uh, I know that there was a few that were upset. Couldn't, they couldn't see it because it was blocked in Russia. Um, so I will do my best to pay attention to that, especially when we're looking at Russian acts, such as Daria. Daria. Stavrovich. So that's who we're checking out today. Um, actually, we started doing some pre prep and research for this because, as you guys may know or may not know, when whenever we check out a new artist, we like to do a little bit of research as to right. who this new artist is so that we have a little bit of an idea as to their background, their style. Right. Well, we found out that uh, Miss Daria here was in Slot, a van that we've actually checked out before on our channel, which um, is a small world. I a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we I seen that she's been through quite a bit. Uh, had a, a neck stabbing issue, or she had had some significant uh, surgery. It was during an auto, I think it was during an autograph session in Saint oh, Petersburg, scary. In Russia. Yeah, uh, but we see that this video had have happened after, so it looks like she got her her yep, she had, vibes she had, back. Yep. So uh, she must have recovered. Uh, she was in a band called Slot, I think is how you say the name. Uh, we saw on the Wikipedia that she has actually since left that band. So I guess that makes, explains why she's on a um, The Voice, uh, Russia. Well, this is from 2016. Okay. So was this and, and And she left the band just like, it was April of this year. So it was like, uh, okay. it was like th not even three weeks ago. I don't Maybe think. she'd truck out on her own after doing this video. Who knows? But this was four years. This is... So I'm sure she has. I'm sure. Ago. I'm sure she has her reasons. So mm -hmm. just as long as it's you know amicable and everything's yeah. all right. Well, it's interesting to see a, a, an established musician do one on one of these shows. So that's for sure. But anyway, we're gonna get into it. This song is uh, "Zombie" by the Cranberries, one yep. of my favorite songs from the '90s. I love. Um, oh yeah, love, I the, love Cranberries. the Cranberries. Uh, and R.I.P. Dolores. Um, you know, God rest her. Yeah, well, she was amazing really singer. Great. Yeah, and amazing had a, talent. A lot of uh, political things to say yeah. uh, and positive messages in their songs. Uh, I forget what Zombie's about, but I know it has some political uh, connotations. Uh, their bombs and things I think she talks about in the song. But yeah. nevertheless, let's jump into some of these comments and then we'll jump into the video. I think Dreams got to be my favorite song from yeah. Cranberries. Uh, I don't know if we want to read through the entire. That's a bit of a. Script. That'd be a bit of a. That'd be a bit of a skit. That we yeah. Do. Hello. The man uh, in the glasses. This is how Russian mafia boss looks like. <laughs> the world needs a full studio version of this. Perhaps. Dolores would be so proud of this. I said she Doris. Dolores. My apologies for that. <laughs> Dolores. Yes. She sang it from her her soul exactly how Dolores meant the song to be sung. It just kept getting better. Nice. The highest pitch I have ever heard. She surely touched the peak. Okay. Her voice when she sing. Angry emoji. <laughs> Her voice when she speak. U W U emoji. I don't know what that I'm, means. I, I, I kind of have an smiley, idea. I, I kind of have an idea of what that means, but I don't really know. Yeah. God, she is so addicting. Watching her use every ounce of energy she possesses and blasting it into the vocals was nothing less than beautiful. I wouldn't be surprised if she exploded on stage. Keep coming back to this video. Nice job. All right. Well, I think with that being said, we can jump on into this one. Uh, this is a full clip of the show and the performance. Uh, we don't speak uh, Russian, obviously. Uh, so we are only going to check out the portion of the video that is her performing. Uh, so this may be a shorter video than normal, but, you know. If you want us to check out more, you guys can suggest what we should do next. Uh, we've never checked out uh, other other than uh, Slot, the original band that she was in. Uh, we haven't checked out much of her, so if she's gone out solo or has other projects you guys want us to check out. Cause when, yeah, because when we were looking her up, uh, yeah. it did say that she might have had other albums out. Yeah, so a couple albums of her own. If there's anything else you guys think would look would do well on the channel or are interested in us checking it out, make sure you suggest it in the comments, and we'll jump on that. Uh, but if you're not new to the channel, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time for the glorious epic. Trip. 
Transition. All right, let's do a little double tap. All right, so this may be quick. We may not pause so we can um, hear it all in its entirety, and then we will discuss as we go. Okay, yeah, definitely a different version of it. A little bit edgy, or a little, a little bit grindier, I guess. But I kind of can't remember the original either. So my first impression of this is um, obviously it's not a faithful cover. It's um, more, definitely her yeah, interpretation of the it song. It's definitely an, a, a heavier, a, a more aggressive interpretation. Yeah, but just as passionate. It is passionate. You know, same. You know, you know, same kind of. You know, same. De, you know, delivery from. You know, from an emotional delivery. Mm -hmm. Just, just a different approach. Like, yeah. like Dolores was a little bit more. Um, like She's not more on the lower bit, end. Yeah, like you know, a little Especially bit more subtle. Like it, you know. It's, you know, it's it, you know, it's the '90s. You know, right. it's like it was it was timely for the '90s. Well, I think the difference here is that Dolores wrote a song that had a certain meaning, and she sang it in the way that fit the song and the yeah. meaning here. We had to look at the context of what she's doing here. What is she trying to do? She's trying to impress these judges, right? So she's taking a song that she can sing much higher, a song that was pretty accessible most people could probably sing zombie it's not a hard song to sing yeah dolores didn't go into very high pitches in that song um so it, it's something that you know any vocalist could probably do i would hesitate to say that but most vocalists would find it accessible to do what she's doing is she's because she's taking that such an accessible song and she's flipping it and doing it in a higher octave uh, it makes it seem like she's singing it better. <laughs> Just because it's higher doesn't mean it's always better. I, I know I'm very attached to the original zombie song. So this isn't my perfect rendition. I appreciate what she's doing here. And it's definitely different. But in my opinion, uh, this is over singing the song. Well, let's see how she goes with it. Because I, to me, it is a little... The, the the timbre of her voice is a little inconsistent, and I think that she's trying to maybe going for that, maybe. That's her style. Obviously, she's got the dreads and stuff, so she's trying to make it rocking. She's definitely hitting these very cool, growling, high-pitched parts, but I don't know if I would have chosen a song like this to do that in. You know what I mean? There could be it could have been other songs that, that would have fit better with, especially if you're a very big fan of the Cranberries or the song. So I can see that being off-putting to some of the, uh, you know, the Cranberries... Um, you know, diehards. Obviously, we just read a ton of comments that people love this rendition. Yeah. This is just my opinion, uh, but we'll continue looking at it here. We're only 45 seconds in. Yep. I mean, that's great right there. I like this guy's reaction. <laughs> he's, he's digging it. Just throw that microphone down. <laughs> nice. Really interesting to hear a saxophone in the middle of this. I think yeah. it's a minute to um to warm up to it now because now she's sounding she's she's firing on all pistons again. Yeah. 
very different feel from the original. Now she's just screaming it, which I think suits her voice better. Because when she's screaming it, I actually feel like she's hitting the notes very consistently, whereas before it felt like they were wavering a little bit. So this is definitely her sweet spot, in my opinion. Oh my god! Wow. <laughs> oh, okay. I, love that. <laughs> I love that open mouth oh my gosh <laughs> that should be the thumbnail <laughs> oh my gosh that'll be our photo that thumbnail yeah that, that one dude in the light blue shirt he was <laughs> rocking out to it <laughs> all right well that was about two minutes of our video we just watched it probably yep. strung it out to 10 <laughs> uh but yeah uh, so um very interesting take i've kind of given my two cents i think already <laughs> during the video yeah. uh what do you think well, going off of what you were saying about the the first forty five seconds, I can I can kind of see like like it's a little, I guess it could be it could have been like a little bit off putting considering how it you know the song you know starts off like mm -hmm. that, but the 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 rendition from this one like not just what she was singing but what the backing band was playing it kind of went with it, mm -hmm. you know ch you know to show that it was going to be a different interpretation right from the start. Right. But once she got into it, you know like you know and you can tell like like those first two just they just hit their buns to spin around to see like okay I'm hearing her now I got to see her to see what you know right. the hell was going on, and you know and then she was and as it just went on. Um, you know, just a minute later after, you know, what you were talking about, you know, it's, it's just like everything just kind of came off, came right, alive. Right. You know, and she let that, you know, jumped up an extra, an extra step for the, right. you know, those screams. Right. You know. It's definitely not a style for everyone. And I it, definitely wouldn't say that this is a um, vocally, like, uh, healthy way of singing. Because to me, it just really sounded like she was pushing it as hard as she could to break it. Which you know there that can be done in in many ways. Um, so definitely not a like a traditional vocal and a vicious. But you know, people like rock. You know, obviously these these judges were blown away. I would love to hear what she can do without breaking her voice like that because it does seem to me like she's pushing it in a way that may not be like healthy. Um, but that's just my opinion. Um, I know I'm probably going to get lambasted for that. And sometimes there's just things that I just don't think are that good. <laughs> Sorry. Get the t get the torches. Get I, the pitchforks. I, you know, we, we checked out get Slot. Get the nooses. We checked out Slot, and I think that song was a little bit more... The song we checked out before was a little had a little bit more... Um, well, they were they are classified as new metal, so, yeah. there, was, so there is an inherent edge to that right. kind of music that... I think I like her, her their original stuff is what I was trying to yeah. get. But, uh, so yeah, if you guys want to... Uh, to check out some more slot by all means comment and let us know i will do my best to make sure it doesn't get blocked in russia I'll, for some reason a lot of our videos do uh, i don't know what's going on in particular with russia it's the kremlin <laughs> why they block videos uh well we'll do our best they do not want us to have any fun but yeah that was our reaction to uh zombie by the cranberry cover with uh Dara. Darius Stavrovich. yeah so again let us know what you want to see and we'll definitely jump on those next suggestions yeah but in the meantime we are offset, offset era. era we are two-thirds of offset era three-piece punk core act of sunny southwest florida we have an extensive playlist of all of our original music, if you're curious as to what I mean by punk core, as well as a top shelf villain, a six song EP, brand new by our standards. <laughs> yeah, the, I love the new album. Um, I am very, you guys gotta go check it out. If you haven't checked it out yet, go listen to it. Uh, I still go back to it and listen to it on my breaks at work and stuff. I think it came out very good. We're very proud of it. Uh, yes. Um, and we're just starting to hit a strive. We're gonna start recording more as the weeks and months go by. Yeah, so. Vince was actually joking last time. He was like, yeah, now that we're getting getting good at playing the new stuff now it's time to start writing new new stuff well that's how it goes <laughs> that's kind of how it is because I, I came over to do these and he was showing me a, de a demo of how we do it is you know we jam out a bunch of stuff and you know he'll take the stuff that he remembers and you know arrange them arrange it arrange put them, them out into... more parts together come up with different things that are inspired by the other parts and then uh i think lyrically we're gonna just use some various concepts that uh, the band's been throwing around kind of fun little collaboration the way we work and uh yeah, I'm, seems I'm, to work it's out very well. it's very open you know it's you know it's not just you know one chef just dishing out orders right all right we also have some shows coming we have one show coming up yep well one show currently on the horizon friday right. april 26th we're going to be at ali's pub records and beer yep. with mommy's little monsters psycho fluid black clash and social infants yeah it's a uh, night one of the two night ali's blowout finale i'm i'm sad 
see all you know always looking to go yeah it's very sad to see it go uh we're we've played there so 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 many times i we think were... I, I think sometimes it got to the point where we were doing it like once a week yeah there'd be times where sometimes we were, twice in one week at least a couple of times a month for sure at least yeah. once a month if not twice a month uh so it's gonna leave a big hole um we're hoping that there's a couple other venues that are gonna be around the area that are gonna start doing shows i've heard kava is going to there's a place called beach records which we played with uh, a couple weeks ago we did the Opera House, so there yeah, are places yeah, the around Opera here. House in Arcadia. All right, but if you're interested in following the band, go ahead and check us out on Facebook. We're also on Instagram, along with posting uh, updates here on YouTube. So stay tuned here. You know, you'll get all of the updates. Oh, we have a Patreon. If That's you right. do want to support us, you can do that through Patreon. Uh, there has been some comments of thinking that you know, adjusting our monthly amount. So I might consider doing that. I'm not really looking at Patreon as a way to make money necessarily, but it it's is not right now. I do want people to be able to see some of the unblocked or yes. uncensored videos that we. A lot of these get blocked. A lot of them have to create heavy editing and obscuring. sometimes in one region, sometimes in numerous regions. Yeah, so it gets a little. It looks a little troublesome. So if you guys like to watch uh, videos without any kind obscured logos or anything that's the place to do it it also supports us um, and i don't expect you guys to subscribe forever if you just want to subscribe for a day or you know or a month or a day or a minute uh i don't know no harm no foul we appreciate everything you guys do for us so uh just keep your suggestions coming that's it for this video thank you so much for commenting liking and subscribing let us know what you want to see in the next one and we'll see you then we'll see you there peace out